What is a bug? And is it a bug or a feature? Welcome back to App Creative, everybody. We're talking about bugs versus features. What are they and how can you tell them apart? This has been on my mind because I'm wrapping up a particular project with one client. The client's awesome, joy to work with. Uh, the application is, is also a lot of fun. Uh, it feels like everything's coming together. I did have this voicemail that I got from this client over the weekend, and here's a really short excerpt from it that I want to share with you. Goals were somehow completed. I didn't complete them, didn't touch them, and they all moved over to completed. Don't know why, don't know how, but it did make me realize that we probably need, if there's some level of restore, um, right now there's no way to get them out of completed back into your queue. Um, it might be easier just to have like a, like a little button that just says, hey, restore back goals. Because um, if that does happen, um, it takes a lot of work to to reset them up. It's bug, obviously. Yeah, you know, yeah, what's going on? Thanks, Mike. So this client app has a feature that allows uh, users to set goals. And it also allows those goals to be marked as achieved or completed goals. So what happened was that this client was going through, um, doing some final user acceptance testing, opened the app and realized that all of his goals had somehow been marked complete, even though he hadn't actually marked them complete himself. And then he described a potential solution to that problem. Like, hey, if I've got goals that are all marked complete, they're gonna add up in this completed goals section. I want to be able to restore them so that I don't have to go through and manually re-enter all of my goals. Now, adding an option to just restore goals or to, re to take a goal from completed and move it back to kind of in progress, if you will, that's a great idea. It's a great idea for a feature. But the real bug in this situation is not uh, providing some kind of restore capability. The real bug is that those goals were somehow marked completed even though he hadn't marked them complete. That's a big problem, right? So what we need to do is we need to figure out what's causing that. Uh, how, how can we recreate that bug and how can we find what's causing it so that we can fix it for the future? I love this voicemail because it's such a clear demonstration of how hazy sometimes, especially as you're wrapping up development, the, the boundaries can be between bugs and features. So what I want to do is share with you uh, some definitions and also some examples of bugs uh, and features as well, and then also uh, provide some guidance on how you can document bugs versus features so that you can get the most out of your development time. So first things first, what exactly is a bug? A bug is a defect that prevents any feature from working as it was designed. There are lots of different kinds of bugs. You've got layout bugs, you've got uh, error bugs, you've got performance bugs. All of these different uh, types of defects can prevent your application from working as designed. Here's some examples of some bugs. So achieved goals cannot add a goal error. Now notice how we documented this bug. We first we listed steps to recreate or reproduce this bug. That will allow uh, a tester or developer to go in and, and figure out well exactly when did this problem occur, how, what caused this issue, how can we solve it. So in the description we've said okay step one I open the achieved goals, step two I tap on a plus icon, step three add a photo and goal name, step four tap on save. And the expected result was that either we've added a goal or that maybe the, that, that plus button up there was unnecessary. But the actual result was that we got this error that said cannot add a goal. Now really what happened was that we were already in this completed goal section and that plus button really shouldn't have been there. That was a kind of a, a leftover from another screen. So what we did is we just removed that plus icon from that screen since it really shouldn't have been there anyway and that addressed the problem. If that error had shown up on the previous screen where that plus icon should have been, like if you're trying to add a goal and you can't, that's a, that's a pretty serious bug. Something's going wrong with the back end versus the front end. You gotta dig in, figure out what's causing that. So that's an example of um, a bug preventing a feature from working as it was designed. Here's another one. Uh, the phone number on my profile doesn't save when parsed by parentheses. So for example, in the United States, when you write a phone number, right, you put parentheses and you put the area code in there and then the rest of the number. So the steps to recreate were, hey, I'm gonna to navigate to the profile, step two, tap edit profile, step three, enter a phone number in US format, like 801-555-1234, tap save, exit the profile, navigate back to the profile. The result was that only the area code was saved and it was still showing. Obviously the expected result is that the whole phone number should be saved and showing. So went back, solved that problem, now it's addressed. Here's another example, edit profile, cannot update profile error. So step one, I go to the profile tab. Step two, I tap on edit. Step three, I fill out the profile fields. Step four, I tap on save. The expected result is that the edits have been saved. Such high expectations. 
The actual result is that uh, we get this error, cannot update profile error. So documented it, sent it back to the devs, they fixed it, good to go. Here's an example of a layout type bug. So uh, chat message runs into the attachment icon. Uh, the steps to recreate this bug were pretty simple. Number one, I open the chat. Step two, I type a message long enough to wrap onto the next line. The expected result was that there would be enough space uh, left when that line wrapped in order to uh, allow room for all the other icons and buttons and things that are part of that interface. But the actual result was that the text uh, runs into the attachment icon. And you can kind of see here how that overlap happens. So that's a layout bug. It's very uh, cosmetic on the front end. Does the app still work? Yes, but, but it, it looks ugly. So we want to get rid of that. Now, when you have something that you want to add to your app, like a feature maybe that wasn't part of your, your user stories or part of your design work, or maybe it's not part of your architecture, then that becomes a feature request. So it's no longer a bug, it's a feature. Now a feature is new functionality that did not exist before. And when we're documenting new features or feature requests, we want to write them out as user stories, the same way that we would write out any other feature as a user story. So for example, as a user who has marked a goal complete, I want to delete a completed goal from my goal history so that I don't have a long list of old goals building up. Now this feature might seem like it's a really small deal and it also might seem like, well, gosh, is that really, is that necessary for an MVP, right? You're trying to create a minimally viable product. Do you really have to have this delete feature? Uh, I think that the boundary between what is truly minimally viable and, and what really just is good common sense to have in an MVP is, is kind of gray. And so I would say that a feature like this that's small enough, it's inexpensive enough to implement, you, you really should include something like this in an MVP. That way your users don't get dissatisfied with this product that they're, that they're using. The problem with that question is it's kind of like building a house, right? Anybody who has worked with a, a general contractor to build a house knows that, that you know, some builders, they include upgrades, others don't. Y you want some basic things, but the builder says like, oh, that'll cost you an extra $500 or $5,000 or $15,000. And before you know it, the price of your house is really, has, has just ballooned. Nobody really wants that. So a good practice for, uh, for you softwarepreneurs out there is that you wanna save some of your budget money for some of those few features that you realize uh, when you're going through your app that, that you missed something during your design phase. You wanna have a little bit of cash set aside just for those few little items that, that you really feel like should be in your app. Are they really necessary? Are they not? They're necessary for you to feel like your, your MVP is complete and, and for your users to not feel like they're using some kind of low quality app. So yes, we're going to like save some room, some budget money for that. Now that's different from getting to the end of your development and realizing, oh, well, but I really, I want it to do this. And I also want it to do this. And I also wanted it to do this. Like how come we didn't include like these five new features? Then you're getting beyond, uh, is, is this really an MVP or is this really part of the estimate that, that, um, that the devs provided to you? So that really isn't necessary in order to have a, a viable MVP. Now, if you're the software vendor, I would suggest a few things to consider for your approach to finishing up a project because you're gonna to get to the end of development and there probably will be things that maybe you missed or that the client missed or that the designer missed. Some little details you may have forgotten. And one of the worst feelings in the world is to have your software developer tell you or your software vendor tell you, we're not gonna do that because it's not part of the original scope. So annoying. What you want to do is you want to leave a little bit of space in your budget for those final few little details that maybe you forgot or maybe the client forgot. The thing is, it's so easy to, to point the finger back at the client to say, well, you should have caught that during design. You signed off on all of the mockups. But the thing is, is that that's why the client is hiring you in the first place. They may or may not have built apps in the past. And so they're, they're going to hire you because they're looking for someone with expertise in building apps. And as someone with that expertise, if you are the vendor, you need to, uh, to consider some of these final details that someone inevitably will forget on, on a software project. The last thing your client wants is to be nickel and dimed to death over little pesky features that, that really should have been included in the first place. So you want to be careful, but make sure that you have a little bit of space to accommodate your customers. Because if your customers feel accommodated, uh, they'll come back. There you go. The difference between a bug and a feature. Hope that helps. We'll see you here next time on App Creative. Join us again. Videos are published every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 12 noon Mountain Time.